the mechanisms of life simulated through supercomputers. We are inside a cell in a substance called the cytoplasm, which is packed with a vast number of molecules. It is here in the cytoplasm that complex and diverse reactions involving proteins, metabolites, and other biological molecules of various sizes are orchestrated. New computer programs developed to simulate complex behaviors on the K-computer reproduce the movements of tens of millions of water molecules and thousands of large molecules within the cell, making up approximately 30% of the cytoplasm, all at the atomic level. This is a ribosome composed of RNA and proteins. The factory that synthesizes proteins from amino acids. These barrel-shaped proteins are molecular chaperones called GROW-EL that fix misshapen proteins. Giant complexes such as these hardly move at all under the conditions of the simulation. Smaller proteins and small RNA fragments, however, move more actively, despite the crowded environment. And smaller metabolites, like ATP, move faster still. These simulations show metabolites in the cytoplasm seeming to slide along the surface of proteins and jump between proteins. Future experimental studies are expected to confirm this. Because proteins are surrounded by other proteins in the cell, their structures were thought to be more stable in this environment than in pure water. The simulations, however, show that complex forces acting between different proteins may destabilize them significantly. Protein structure and reactivity are also strongly affected by electrostatic effects of the many metabolites and ions in the cell. Small molecules such as metabolites and drugs, bind to protein active sites where they may cause chemical reactions or inhibit normal functioning. There is constant competition between the various proteins and small molecules within the cell, and simulations that take this crowded intracellular environment and its many competitive interactions into account may help predict yet unknown effects such as potentially dangerous side effects of some drugs. Our understanding of the movement and function of individual molecules within the cell is making huge strides thanks to the use of supercomputers. Identifying the mechanisms underlying many living processes is advancing basic science but may also lead to the development of new therapeutic drugs.